Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen how to run this, uh, uh, you know, expression where we have uh, created a table. We can select this and we can just click on this run button on the top. We'll be able to see the, you know, page where we could uh, scroll to the left or right and see how it appears. Uh, this format, we could view it by using the print layout option, which is present over here. If we don't want it, we can you know uncheck it and we'll be able to see the output like this. Okay, and uh, here we have a few other things. In order to get back to the same thing, here we could get back to the design using this uh, you know design option or button on the left on top. Or else in the bottom, we could uh, switch between these two buttons where uh, we could get back to the run and home screen within by selecting this these are the two ways where we could get back uh, I could click on this design again and I could get back to our uh, canvas as earlier now here we have uh, two things to notice this first thing wh where we could see this is the title and uh, from top till till bottom this is our total body and in the bottom what you could see is the f our footer Okay, this is the title and in between we have this uh, total totally it is a body and in the bottom bottom we have the footer in order to add the header we can go to insert tab click on this header and add header so now we have this header and if we want to you know change the properties or size of it just click on that uh, click wherever you want to change suppose you want to change the size of the footer okay just go to the footer right click and you could see the footer properties you can click on that you could see many properties like display footer for this page or not whether you want to fill it with something or not whether you want to uh, add any background image for example if i want to add a background image for the footer i can just click on this embedded or if even if it is external links you could paste it or you can extract it from database you can click on embedded click on import I'll take some random image uh, where I have where I could insert it as a background and I'll click OK now you could see that in the footer I have a background which is uh, you know uh, which is taken from the image and in the top we have this uh, header we can right click on that you can see that right header properties and similarly we'll have similar properties where we even we could change the style width color and all these things and uh, here in the body we can right click and see the body properties similarly fill and border and even the, the, of course we could uh, size change the size of it here in the view pane or view tab click on this properties the properties which we have seen we could see even in the properties pane in the right side here now currently if you see my body properties are uh, on because I have selected by clicking on the body suppose if you select the footer you could notice that the properties of footer has appeared and suppose if I click on header you could see that my page header is appearing so in this way you could uh, uh, make sure that the size of respective things may change or you could say properties uh, information change according to the selection and here if, if I select on the body you could uh, click on this size here I have this uh, 6 inch and 2.25 inch height if I want uh, width more than 6 inches I can just remove that I can type maybe 7.5 inches and hit, hit enter you could see that width has expanded and similarly uh, you could increase the height as well and uh, here on the header su suppose that I want to insert the title rather than here I could see this uh, you know movable symbol where I could drag it gradually to this uh, you know header so that it appears on every page if you want to position this uh, header to the top left on the right side once you select the title you could see that its name is report title here you could change it you could change the title to anything 
and here in the bottom you could see the, its location left it is 0 inches and in the right it is 0 0.48 inches which I'll make it to 0 inches so on the top you could see that title is aligned and similarly you could uh, you know fix the width and the height of its uh, size based upon the requirement here okay and suppose that I want to insert an image in the header for every page what I could do is I can select this header wherever wherever I want to insert the image I can right click go to insert and click on image once you click over there similarly as we have seen earlier here we can select the um, image source by default it is embedded or else we can choose the respective source click on import and then let us import the similar pick I'll click on OK so this is our pick where we have uh, you know this image size now if you notice I have increased the you know size of the image the body has also increased and if I reduce the image size here you could notice that you know the body size didn't decrease so make sure that you uh, you know keep a check on this body size whenever you deal with the properties if I get back to the size you could see that from 7.5 it has increased to 7.95 I would again change it to 7.5 so that it appears properly now if I go to home screen and run you will be able to see that the image appears okay here you could see that on every page the image will appear you could go to print layout and you could uh, you know check the layout how how it would appear okay I have this bottom background I have this image on the top and in the, every page it will be reflected okay and let us discuss about the footer I'll get back to the design by selecting that in the in the footer you have this uh, by default uh, you know text box property kind of thing if you select it you could see that it is renamed as execution time on the right side okay and if you see in the bottom its name is execution time where you could change over here in general and there are many other properties the size and uh, how to position it and all these are present location I can just you know select it I can keep it zero and even this I can keep it zero inches so that it is aligned to the left side and I could uh, right click on that I can click on this expression now instead of bringing only the execution time I want to you know write uh, the pages also so in order to write that here I have something called as built-in fields and here I can get the page number I can click on that I'll get the page number and I can concatenate with uh, you know off writing uh, like and again I can concatenate with ampersand and here I can select the total pages so it will show us the execution time and page number of certain total pages so I'll click OK here this is an expression where we could uh, change the expression which is being written instead of execution time if I click OK now instead of ampersand execution time which is shorthand notation you could see that expression expr is written because we have concatenated with uh, even page number and page total pages also now if I run this here in the bottom you could see that you know uh, I have the execution time and uh, page number uh, you know it is not properly aligned because we have to little expand it again I'll get back to the design and select this uh, expression drag it to to a reasonable extent where both the time and page numbers both are visible okay I, I hope this will be visible again as we run and see and uh, this this one uh, you know in the header we have something uh, to notice that uh, even this title if I right click I can click on this expression and here we have again the built-in fields in this we have something called report name I can click on that click OK now we'll be able to see that our shorthand notation you know square brackets ampersand report name 
is our shorthand notation for the report name so it will be dynamically updated as we update so on every page within the header so this is how it will be helpful and similarly to write the expressions we can even create a new column for example I'll select this column right click insert a new column to the right okay this is my new column I'll write new claim amount okay and in the expression here I could uh, you know right click click on this expression and here from the data I could uh, select data sets here I, I have this sum of like total claim I have so what I could do is I can select this total claim instead of uh, you know taking this customer claim amount or, or making it sum I'll take this and remove this sum I'll multiply it with 1.1 because I want claim amount being increased to 10% which is my new claim amount so it is basic basic expression where you could understand that I have multiplied with 1.1 uh, by increasing 10% this is my expression for the new column I'll just click OK now again since it is an expression you could see that EXPR is present now again if I run let us uh, see the changes which we made so here in the bottom you could see that you know the time and page numbers are properly visible again uh, you know little formatting thing is present and here uh, you know we have multiple pages and uh, we could see that in the fourth column our uh, new claim amount it is around 10% uh, more than the claim amount so we could understand that our expression is correct and it is uh, uh, you know able to function properly according to our requirement okay I hope you have understood how to create an expression, how to deal with the header, footer and how to create a new column and how to create using the expressions, how to create the built-in fields. So this is all for today. Thank you for watching and we shall meet in the next video. Mm -hmm.